What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about three villains that the new Batman game does not need. I wouldn't be sad if they didn't return all of those uh, kind of things. So this is a, a fun video I thought uh, of throwing together for you guys. I've talked about villains before. I've talked about villains that the game uh, should bring back. I do want to talk about new villains down the line. I, I definitely am not opposed to making more videos on villains in general. And, and as always, like I say for these videos, let me know in the comments if there's any other kinds of lists. I know I've seen a uh, request of different Batman videos, different uh, kinds of videos in general that I definitely do want to get to uh, as the months go on. So definitely leave your suggestions, anything you want to see from me in the comments below. So we're going to go through, again, these are three villains that, you know, if, if they return, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to cry about it, I'm not going to be upset. Um, but honestly, if they don't return, I think it actually may even be a better decision. Remember, my, I mean, my main thing with this Batman game is I want new villains, but I also want returning ones. But at the same time, you can't literally just keep adding and adding adding and adding and never subtracting, right? That's always kind of been an issue with the uh, with when people ask me, you know, what villains do you want to return? I can name off really a ton of the villains that we've gotten in these games I think are phenomenal. I think are really, really good villains. Uh, uh, some of them are some of the better villains I've seen in games. Uh, and obviously you can't remove all of them, but you do have to remove some of them uh, to make way for brand new ones, which also, again, if, if new villains have never uh, made its way into these games, I don't think they would be what they were, which, which they are a uh, very, very special game. So it's kind of because because they put emphasis on these villains that someone like me, someone who's not super diehard into you know Batman lore, Batman you know anything like that, uh, may not know you know about these villains. So let's go through this list. Uh, we'll start at number three uh, with Riddler. Okay, so Riddler is somebody that I've talked about actually a couple times on the like specifically made videos dedicated all to our old friend Riddler. Uh, look, I'm gonna laugh literally every single time you tell me that he built an underground race course for Batman in Arkham Knight. That'll always be. Just one of my favorite things that have ever happened in any game. How it just absolutely makes zero sense. Um, I do not hate Riddler. I've talked about that. He would be out of these three. Again, if he comes back, I wouldn't mind. I know a lot of people, and in fact, the videos I made on Riddler, videos I made on other villains, I've seen people say in the comments, like, you know, it's not it's not necessarily Riddler. It's the trophies. It's literally uh, hunting for them. And I would I would agree. I think again, and I'm gonna stand strong on this. What they did in Arkham Knight with Riddler was the best that they've done so far. Truly, uh, you know, some of them, obviously, I, I really, you know, the the racing things were okay. They weren't like amazing, but I honestly, I didn't hate them. Like I, 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 I guess I would even say this is don't, don't hate me for this, but I would almost say I kind of enjoyed when I would have to do a racing thing again. I did not despise them. Again, I, I wasn't like, oh my dear God, like I can't wait to do this. But you know, it was mainly the other things around the game. But honestly, again, like tearing it up and getting to work with Catwoman and and solving these puzzles with somebody else, basically, right? how you could control both, uh, fighting Riddler at the end. I honestly feel like there were a lot of really cool moments, and it's why, I, and really, that in a nutshell, and that kind of is honestly the only reason, but whenever I talk about Riddler coming back, that's what I kind of flash to, where it's like, well, there were flashes of some really amazing moments in Arkham Knight that I think if you just captured that and did that all the time with Riddler as a side villain, it would be really cool. And then I think, all right, well, there is that. I know you guys sometimes say, but it's like, but overall, all, is he more just annoying? You know what I mean? Is it more of like a nuisance having him in the game than something that pays off? You know what I mean? So I, I do definitely agree. I, I, I see that. I see that, and I agree with it. I think overall, not having Riddler, not having the trophies, would it make the world feel less full? Is that kind of why they're worried about never... You know what I mean? Like, is that why he's always in these games? Is so you can see always, like, green trophies. Like, all, you know, when you're flying around the world, you see, like, different challenges you have to do. I mean, it definitely does fill up the world. That's I mean, I, I don't think you can argue that, right? It definitely always gives you more things to do in the world because there's always things to kind of go back to. It is kind of their way in, like, an open-world game. You know how there's sometimes areas that are locked off or areas that you can't do yet because you don't have a certain ability or skill or, you know, whatever that thing may be. This is kind of Batman's way, right, where you see things and you're like, man, I can't get that yet because I don't have this ability unlocked or I haven't unlocked this person, you know, whatever it may be. Is that why they do it? So, again, I understand why he's in these games. I think, again, they did him as, as good as they've done him yet in Arkham Knight, but I would not be uh, saddened at all if he was not in. The only thing I think we would notice is a lack of just green in, in the world. You know what I mean? That's that's pretty much it. But besides that, I think the game could live without him. Number two is Two-Face. Uh, now, these next two are, are I, I would say, bigger villain names, but they're kind of villains that have just kind of been overstepped uh, in these Batman games. Where, and I also think, and by saying that, actually, it's dual meaning. I think they've kind of just not done them the greatest. 
Titus. And I also think other villains that probably are even less used than them have been done better. Two Face, you know, when he was in uh, Arkham City, obviously I think it was a big part of the promotion, right? When we saw like the the trailers, and obviously even like kind of in the opening, let's say like hour of the game. I mean, he's a big role. Uh, but overall, honestly, I'm just not the biggest. I, I just really don't care about Two Face all that much uh, as a villain in these in these games. I feel like. You know, again, I'm not a huge guy into the comics. I don't know many variations of Two-Face. What I can say is the movie, okay, The Dark Knight, what made it so well, I, I think, done, too, was not even just him. I feel like he was a little plain, too, but especially him with Joker. I really feel like Two-Face needs to play off of somebody else. And I also feel like just the way that these games go, it's not really in, in a way where Two-Face can shine. You know what I mean? I don't really... I feel like Two-Face kind of... Because it's not really even his fault, but I think he kind of gets like uh, relegated to like the back of the line. You know what I mean? like Where it's like, well, you're not that important. You're kind of just... I don't know, you're just like a guy for hire, like you have guns and you can hire goons and you go rob bank. And that's honestly, so moving forward to Arkham Knight, that's kind of what they had. Now, again, I, I understand obviously when I make all of these lists, like comparing Arkham Knight to what Warner Bros. Montreal is doing isn't exactly fair, right? Because they're not the same studio. But, you know, what they did in Arkham Knight with uh, with Two-Face, I was just like, you know what? This is this is nothing. Like the other side villains, I, I mean, I guess the idea of robbing banks, you have to go in there and you have to stop them in like a certain amount of time and all kind of stuff. Like I felt that was okay but like the creativity of other villains uh, I think were much much better and just literally Two-Face himself I don't know you know what I mean when you see him enough times it's like well he's just a guy with half a face kind of missing and there's cooler villains I feel like now, this is just a personal opinion by the way I feel like there's cooler villains and especially in Arkham Knight I think there was just better things to do around the world and better side villains to experience their story some of them I've never seen before in a game some of them I've never seen before in my life right I didn't even know about them some you have seen before but they did different things you know what I mean so seeing those or playing those I thought was so much better than doing Two-Face Two-Face, again, with the whole bank thing, kind of just were like, all right, well, we don't really have anything super engaging for him to do because we can't really... I mean, what can you really do with, with a character like Two-Face? You know what I mean? Unless it's more like a crime drama that kind of like the Dark Knight was, unless it's like that, Two-Face doesn't really fit in all that well to a video game like this, unless maybe he's like the main villain and, you know what I mean, where you can like kind of play off how smart he is or something like that. Like, maybe you could do that, but, you know, the games aren't... made. These, these Arkham games are obviously this new game, which is going to be close to an Arkham game, isn't exactly meant for that. So I can tell you, you know, with Riddler, I told you, you know, if he was in the game, I wouldn't mind. If he's not in the game, I, you know, I wouldn't care. With uh, with Two-Face, I would say this is the push where it's like, okay, you don't need him. You really don't need him. If you put him in, and then that means you can't bring back somebody better than him, or you can't introduce a brand new villain, I'm not for that, right? I actually would prefer uh, Two-Face to just be removed altogether. And number one, this could be a shocker, is Penguin. Um, you know, I love Nolan North. I love him to death. He's my favorite voice actor, right? Nathan Drake, uh, like literally my all-time favorite. Uh, he's my all-time favorite uh, character. Nolan North is my all-time favorite, like voice actor in games. He's tremendous. Uh, and I'm not, you know, his performance as Penguin is fine. I think it's actually really, really cool. But again. Penguin, I actually think they did definitely do different things with, especially like in Arkham City, letting you kind of go into like his ice cave, right? Letting you kind of like, uh, you know, go into where he calls home. Really like that. He was definitely more of a center role in City as well. I think that was kind of just the overall push in City. Give Two Face some time, give Penguin some time, obviously give Hugo Strange some time, stuff like that. Uh, but Penguin, you know, this is a. T I, I really honestly wanted to put this one as, as number one because I wanted to be bold. I liked what I would even say I loved what they did with Penguin in Arkham City. Arkham Knight, yet again, just like Two-Face, you know, Arkham Knight really put the uh, the focus on these main villains of Joker, Scarecrow, and the Arkham Knight. And that, I mean, that's tough because you have three villains pretty much. And obviously, they're going to have, uh, they're going to be competing for time. As I've said numerous times, I think Joker literally steals it from these characters. Like, Scarecrow just literally goes away for like, uh, easy, easily like half of the game, he just completely disappears. So, you know, I, I don't feel like they did that all that well. And then again, with, with uh, side villains, they put a lot of effort into, again, brand new villains we've never seen before, kind of up up maybe some of their mistakes from the past but again with characters like specifically actually Two-Face and Penguin Penguins weren't interesting I would say either I really you know they were just they were like fighting montages there were sometimes those like kind of surveillance things obviously where you like follow uh, the trucks and stuff I don't know just not 
he they didn't really do much with him. I think he does have more potential. I would say out of Penguin and Two Face, Penguin absolutely has more potential for what you can maybe do with him in the future. I think maybe even just because the name, because of what he kind of lives like with and in, I feel like you could have some really really cool things again, kind of like an iceberg kind of stuff. I think you could do some really really cool things, but also Mr. Freeze could probably give you around the same kind of you know what I mean. He could kind of give you the same kind of atmosphere that Penguin could give you and Mr. Freeze. I I mean I personally think is a lot cooler of a villain. So, you know, we'll have to see what they do. Again, with Penguin, maybe I wouldn't be... The Two-Face, I would say, is the only one I would actually like. If you'd start a petition right now and you said, Alex, sign it, I would sign it if you told me that Two-Face would be removed. Uh, for Penguin and Riddler, I don't know if I would necessarily say, okay, get like I wouldn't, I wouldn't march to Warner Bros. Montreal and say, get rid of these characters. But I honestly don't feel like we need Penguin either. Again, it's a tough call because I do like these villains. I like what they've done at times with these villains, all three of them. All three of them. I like what they've done at times with them or parts of them in these games. But then you have to think, all right, again, like I said with Riddler, is it worth the, you know, these these crowning moments that we think of? Is it worth that when we really just have a lot of like, eh, but they kind of messed up with this part or this part wasn't fully recognized? Do we deal with that? But then, uh, honestly, if we do that, again, we're stopping. Maybe they don't bring back Black Mask to, like, fix him. Maybe they don't, they don't bring back Hush to do something, like, really, you know what I mean? Like, they don't bring back certain villains. Maybe even villains they introduced in Arkham Knight, right, that we've never seen in games before. Do they not bring them back because they're like, man, Two-Face, Penguin, that takes up two spots. Now we can't have these other two. Now they can't have Killer Croc, who's like one of my personal favorites. Like, if you if you don't bring back Killer Croc because you have Two-Face in this game, I swear to God, Warner Bros. Montreal. You know what I mean? Like, things like that. It, it, you know, that's kind of the situation uh, we're in. So, again, I don't hate these characters. I don't mind them. Uh, but at the same time, if we want different returning characters that I personally think are cooler, maybe you guys think are cooler, and I know Oh, you guys have long lists of new villains, right, that you want to see in this game. Well, you can't just add 20 new villains into Batman, right? You have to eliminate some. You have to, again, push some to the side that maybe were a little bit more, like, prominent in, in uh, previous versions. You have to do all sorts of things like that in order to get new villains, returning villains in, in higher roles. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it, it's hard. It's honestly very, very hard, and it's something we've talked about a lot where you're not going to please everybody, and that is what makes these superhero game, whether it be Marvel, whether it be DC, you do make it kind of difficult on yourselves just by making a game in that genre, right? Because you can make people mad based off of your just your decisions on which characters you want in the game could make people upset or happy, right? And that doesn't always happen uh, with a lot of games. So, guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Which villains would you say you don't need uh, to return back, whether it be from Asylum, City, Night, Origins, you know, pick your game. Which characters, uh, which villains do you think that they don't need to be in this new game? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube YouTube channel podcast now hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up and like I said let me know any other videos you want me to make like this one any other videos uh, just in general we're gonna be having more Batman videos every couple days DC Phantom is just a little over a month away we're gonna be talking about uh, my plans for that very very soon cannot wait guys lots of amazing uh, times uh, uh, in store for us honestly ahead thank you so much for watching I truly truly appreciate it I hope to see you all on the next video